Usually when I go to pee somewhere, yes, and I'm doing it outside and in the public, I try to find a place where no one's really around. Yeah, exactly. Worst case scenario, someone's walking by, and you feel like, ah, why did I do this? This is terrible. What's up, guys? Nikki Novak here for the Young Hollywood Network, and I am between two sclars, yes. Jason and Randy. Hi. Jason, Randy? That's correct. That's nice. That is correct, Nikki. Nikki. Am I not doing this right? I'm not every time you get it right, you, every time you get it right, you get an extra fringe on your boots. Yeah, look, her boots graduated from uh, high school. They yeah. graduated from a Texas high school. Well, no, right. it's like a, it's like a buckeye that goes on the helmet when you get like a good. You good look. interview. Give good her interview. another tassel. Get her another tassel. Let's get this thing going. I here. like yeah, it. I'm getting like. props from the Sklar Brothers. We have a visitor. Is there someone taking a leaf behind us? That's awesome. See, this is how you know get it's that. a rehearsal. Go that way. <laughs> uh, so who do you most make fun nothing of? Nothing old your show? Hollywood about what's going on right behind us right now. <laughs> exactly. That's that new, is young new, Hollywood. New Hollywood. Young Hollywood. Uh, he's with he's with us. That's our manager. Um, so uh, he's actually my boyfriend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, look, we like to you know pee in the face of old Hollywood. <laughs> but here's my question to the guy who just to the guy who just came back behind us and peed. Usually when I go to pee somewhere, yes, and I'm doing it outside and in the public. I try to find a place where no one's really around. Yeah, exactly. Worst case scenario, someone's walking by. And you feel like, ah, why did I do this? This is terrible. I might not want to do it while someone's filming something. Is it okay when out of urinal to use your peripheral vision? Oh yeah, you got yes. this. It's all about the I say talk to people. That's a good time to engage with people and yeah, get to know people your People love surroundings. to be talked to when they're right as they're about to engage urinating. That's why- It's an intimate moment. I mean, to me, there's one It's a place, good time to try out material too. It's a great time to try out material and it's a great place to network. What do you guys have against John Daly? Uh, I, I love know. John Daly. If John Daly doesn't cut a country music album, he's a golfer, by the way, we don't have material. If John Daly doesn't claim that his wife stabbed him in the face with a steak knife, we don't, we don't have, have material. So, so thank John you. Daly, thank keep you. doing what you're doing. I say thank you. You, you are like a, you are like the black hoodie and the blowfish. What's this about Snow White and her husband ate? months into the marriage and Prince Charming well, I just to me that whole relationship as a father with daughters who love to hear that story over and over we have a bit in our stand-up which I know you're referring to but the point is that like the way they met was under such bizarre circumstances it is a, it is a very like a bachelor it's <laughs> yes well it's a fairy more tale bizarre than more that. than even more bizarre than the bachelor it's a fairy tale based on necrophilia that's it Let's he brought honest. her back to <laughs> life right? and then and they so, came back together so in our that's minds as I'm reading this to my daughter I'm like do you really do I really want this to be the model of they live happily ever after is this the moral after? that we want to throw out it's here it's not it can't be and so if we like to imagine like Snow White and her husband eight months after they've been married just you know having a conversation like a tense conversation where she's trying to figure out, were there any other corpses you did that with before you got to me? Is essentially what. Was I not your number yeah. one? So tell me a little bit about United Stats of America on the History Channel. Yes. Uh, United Stats of America is a new show that we have on the History Channel that's coming out in May, sometime in May. Early uh, May. We believe. Uh, it is uh, a show about how. Great description. It's a story about how. <laughs> It basically tells the story of America through statistics. Behind every great stat is a story. Like, great stats came up throughout the show. Like, we were the tallest nation in the world until 1950, and now the United States is ninth. We're like, what the we're hell We're the happened? fattest now. So we're what the, happened? The How do we go from being the tallest to the fattest? How tall are you guys? We're five. I'm contributing to the lowering of it. <laughs> five, eight. five eight. But it's, you were trying to figure out why is that happening? So or like 99% of us live on 8% of our land. So you think right. about like, wh why is that? Like, what are the inventions that moved us around? And in doing so. Twitter. Yeah, Twitter. Well, <laughs> Twitter's a big yeah, one. The internet is a great one. Which one of you, okay, if you were cops, who would be the good cop and who would be the bad cop? I think we'd both be bad at being good. <laughs> we'd, be, we'd try to be the good cop, but then just, just be, be bad, bad at it. Well, you were kind of a good cop and a bad cop on Curb. That was one of my favorite moments in TV history. Wow, oh my God, thank Jeez. you so much. That's such. That's so sweet. I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll fold that up for you and we can get you rung up over there. Is that? That's okay, I got it. No, I can take care of it. No, no problem. Actually, actually, I kind of need to take care of it. Uh, we have a very specific way that we fold things here, so I'll take care of it. Okay. Yeah, it's not. It's not that complicated. I can. I can do it. It's not that complicated. Actually, it is kind of a little complicated. This is complicated. Yeah, it's a little bit complicated. There's a specific way that we need to. Can you let go? Of, okay. Thank you. You're stretching it out now. It's not a scoop neck. 
It's actually a V-neck. Thank you. Yeah, that was really fun. We I uh, did an episode of Curb Your Enthusiasm, which meant that Randy couldn't do it, which, which uh, was fantastic. <laughs> really, happy you can about. never do Curb. No, he can't do it now unless they come up with an elaborate storyline <laughs> to connect me back to. Jamie no, what was cool about that is that we were we're friends with uh, with Jeff Garland, and he told our agency said. Send me one of the Sklars, and if the, he can't do it, then get me a Sklar. And if he can't do it, then we'll bring the other one in. And they had other people auditioning, and I just went in, and it was an audition with Larry. So you're in the oh, room, wow. and he's in the room, and you know, you we all watch the show, and I'm a huge fan of the show. And I got to do an argument with him, which to me is like the most exciting thing on that show. And so I felt like everyone was going to be going for a big argument moment. And if I, the whole time, was playing that I didn't want to be in an argument with him, and trying not to get into the argument, so then when it ultimately came, it was allowed to explode, I think that's, it ended up building more So naturally. basically you played hard to get with Larry David. No, I, yes, I did play hard to get with Larry David. <laughs> well, the David. audition was, I mean, I was well, there. The audition I don't was know good. about afterwards. No, <laughs> I mean, hung out with Larry in his Prius. No, uh, <laughs> no, Larry was awesome, and I mean, and the audition was great, because at the end, like, he wanted to stop the audition, or he started laughing at something we were doing, and I, you know, you still keep going, always in the audition, you never stop. And I was just like, oh, this is funny to you? You think what we're doing right now is funny? And he's like, we're no, done. No, no, we're done. And I'm like, I don't think we're done. And I kept like going, he's like, no, no, the audition's over. And I'm like, ah, oh, did I lose? Oh, fine. I just had to like leave because I was, I felt embarrassed that I kept going when he was trying to cut it off. And then you got the job and prevented your brother from ever. Yeah, felt great, guys. I job blocked him.